god she's cute there's one thing i've learned from txt it's to stand yourself and to think that you're the hottest bitch in the room hi everybody welcome to today's video as you can see I don't know what order I'm like putting any of my videos out, but as you can see, I've changed my hair color. I did this all myself, so if you're like a hairdresser and you see something totally wrong with this, please don't come for me. Unless you want to fix it for me, that'd be great. Um, I can definitely see parts that like I am trying to hide from the camera. If you do like what you see though on my head, I also have a hair video coming soon, so stay tuned. Anyway, let's get on with today's video. So, because I dyed my hair, it really reminded me of like, cotton candy like kind of a neapolitan ice cream kind of vibe and it reminded me of a lot of k-pop idols who love like dyeing their hair pink essentially if you're not a k-pop stan essentially at some point in their career they'll all go pink at some point they'll all have pink hair at some point and the times where they go pink are honestly some of the best like style fashion eras that happened to them. I don't know what goes on like when they go pink. Like I don't know if it's like the equivalent of like their hoe phase, but some of the looks that they have are just like, like so uh, yum. So <laughs> I was looking at some looks and my hair currently, because it's not completely pink, it reminded me a lot of Yeonjun from TXT because he had very similar like colorings. He had a little bit more colors in his hair than I do. To be fair, it could just be like hair chalk and hairspray, but it really did remind me of him. And I also, cause I have my like a little wolf cut currently, reminded me a little bit of all of the members and of his look in Blue Hour, which was a music video that came out about this time last year, actually. So I thought in kind of like a tribute to one of my favorite K-pop bands and also to my new hair and also to the pink hair that K-pop idols do, why not do like a little K-pop pink eye makeup inspired look. If you're interested in how I did this makeup look, please keep watching. Um, and I'll also explain like my thought processes behind a lot of the pictures that I was inspired by. Here's all the pictures that I was inspired by. Um, if you're not a K-pop stan, by the way, that doesn't mean that you can't enjoy this video. I know you're not into K-pop, that's fine. That's your prerogative, that's your thing. But I do think even if you're not a K-pop stan, I do think that the world of K-pop has some unbelievable tips and advice and like inspiration style wise fashion wise makeup wise hair wise like all of that i think the world of k-pop specifically k-pop is very very top tier for like style inspiration so yeah regardless of if you like k-pop or not i hope you enjoy this makeup look and let's get into the video also remember to like and subscribe okay bye hi everybody let's do a voiceover so we're gonna start with skin k-pop idols have the most insane, clear, beautiful, even skin I've ever seen in my life. Um, and so to achieve that, we're going to use a full coverage foundation, but I'm going to blend it out really well so it's very, very natural looking. And to do that, I'm going to use this green jelly stone thing that you see on my hand. I'll link everything below. Um, I really, really like this. It's essentially sort of like a cross hybrid between a face sponge and a facial brush, but it's a lot more hygienic because you can wash and dry it really easily. It doesn't absorb as much product as a face sponge. So essentially you're kind of getting the same result as using a brush, but um, you know, like brushes hold on to bacteria. It's kind of like insane. Crazy that <laughs> that happens. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna move on to concealer. So I think if I was gonna do this makeup look again, I'd probably use the little jelly thing to blend out my concealer just because I feel like with your finger, sometimes that can take away the coverage of concealer. But I am just nitpicking a little bit. We're just gonna do some concealer, same shade as my foundation before we move on to, before we move on to, the eyes. <laughs> Okay, I've been using this new technique, um, which I would recommend above what I'm doing here, which is in this video, I'm just blending my concealer out straight away. But what I've been doing in real life is I'll take it, I'll take my concealer, put it underneath my eyes and let it go a little bit tacky and then I'll blend it out. I just think that gives your under eyes a little bit more coverage. For eyebrows, I, because I have dyed hair, I'm using a little bit of a lighter color for my eyebrows, but I'm not particularly good at my eyebrows. So I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about this. 
Yeah, so all I'm doing is filling in my eyebrows here. Do it whatever way you want, however shape you want. And then I'm going to be using an eyebrow gel just to sort of blend all the colors together and try and fix what I got. <laughs> Okay, next we are gonna move on to eyes. So Yeonjun in all of the blue hour concept photos has very like soft pink tones that kind of complement his natural eye shape. There's a little bit of shading underneath on his egg cell, so I'll be replicating that with the shape of my eyes. I think an important thing to mention here is that Yeonjun has monolids and I have double eyelids and I'm sure you the viewer have different shaped eyes from myself and from Yeonjun. So just bear in mind that the makeup is going to look slightly different on my eyes and on Yeonjun's eyes and on your eyes. So all I've done so far is I've taken a pale white cream beige shade, whatever you like, put it all over my lid just so that the eyeshadows can blend out well afterwards and I'm putting a pink blush on top. So this is a little trick that I have is um, I will use blush colors instead of pink eyeshadows just because I think the blush colors give it a little bit more of like a soft pink look. Then I was blending everything out and I've taken this purple shadow and I put it on top right in the center of my eye. And I am again going to blend it out afterwards in a second. Yeah, I think a key thing to this look to getting that really cozy like lovely eye color that sort of like hugs your eye is to really blend it out really well. This is me like checking to see if I blend it out well. To be honest, I'm looking at the footage now, I could blend it out a little bit more. Next, I'm taking whatever is left on my brush plus a little bit more of that purple color, putting it on my egg yosal. So if you don't know what an egg yosal is, that's sort of like the fat lining of your eye. Not everybody has it. I know there were some filters on TikTok that were going around giving you like fake egg yosals um, and everybody was like a little bit confused because they were like, what is this? But it's a really popular thing, especially in Asian makeup to kind of like define your egg yosal. It gives you a little bit more emphasis to your eye instead of just like putting straight black eyeliner on your eye. Speaking of eyeliner, we're now moving on to my eyeliner. So I'm starting with an angled brush and I'm gonna go in with a dark brownie black color. And I haven't sped up this footage just because I wanna like really go into it. Essentially what I'm doing is I am extending past my lash line and flicking upwards sort of where there's a natural dip in my eye so i'm looking downward so i can see that sort of natural dip um and i am just gently and very gradually making that more obvious the reason why i'm using eyeshadow first is again i want to achieve this really soft look and eventually when i go in with the liquid liner later which i've chosen to do yonjun doesn't have liquid liner on but i want it because i like liquid liner on my eyes it essentially ensures that the liquid liner that i put on later doesn't look as harsh and looks a little bit more natural so yeah, as you can see, the liner angle looks different depending on whether I'm looking down or looking up. That is just to do with the shape of my eyes. I have very like round eyes. So whatever angle I end up doing my eyeliner, depending on the angle that you're looking at me, it always looks a little bit different. Um, so yeah, I cannot emphasize enough that I am not a makeup artist. I just, I think I'm, you know, decent at doing the makeup on my own face. And I think that I know what works on my face, kind of. Next, we're doing some mascara. I don't think Yeonjin has any on, and to be honest, normally I skip the mascara, but I just felt like doing it. So again, you know, do whatever suits you, do whatever you like best on your eyes. Then I'm taking a red tone, and I'm putting that right above my lash line. So I think ordinarily most people would probably put that in their crease, but I'm <laughs> I'm built different. Um, no, my eyes are different, so I am gonna put that right in the center of my eye where people are gonna see that more than they would see my crease. I've blended it out and I'm taking whatever's left on my brush to put on my egg yourself to define that a little bit more. Next, I'm gonna take a shimmery color and I'm placing that right in the center, like smack bang in the middle of my eye, like right above my irises. Um, and again, I'm gonna softly try and like blend that out with my finger. With my fingers. Okay, we're now moving on to liquid eyeliner. This is really where the dark brown eyeshadow that we put on before is gonna help. It's really gonna ensure that I'm drawing my line exactly where I want it to go. And also, because we put on that dark brown shadow before, it means that I don't need to draw such like a thick line, or as thick of a line as I normally do. Not that my lines are like very thick in the first place, but it just means that I can make it really soft, like very, very subtly define my eyes and you still kind of achieve that look that Yeonjin has going on. So Yeonjin in the original photos that I showed, he doesn't actually have any gel liner or any like liner that I can see. So this is just my preference. Um, I just really like my eyes with liquid liner, so that's why I'm doing that. And I'm just checking the line again, checking the angle of it. Sometimes when I do my liner, I'll look at it from a certain angle and I'll be like, God damn, I am so talented and gifted. And then I look at it from another angle and I'm like, 
I'm not sure that I can see properly. Anyway, we're doing the next eye um, and I'm using my finger to kind of help really achieve that sharp edge. That's a little trick of mine if you like aren't good at drawing the flick of your eyeliner. Now I'm going in with a hot pink eyeliner, almost like a neon eyeliner, just to really emphasize the pink eyeshadow that we already have going on. Do be careful about where you put this. I put this on like all over my eye the other day and I ran into someone I knew and then I looked in the mirror and I was like, I just look like I have pink eye. Um, so do be careful about where you like put this product. But if you do put it on properly, look look how cute it looks. Here's me coming closer to the camera um, so I can show you the eye makeup a little bit more, being very pleased with myself and being slightly awkward too. <laughs> This makeup look and Asian makeup looks in general don't tend to have a very heavy emphasis on contouring. It's very opposite from Western makeup styles. So I'm not going to go in with any heavy contouring. I'm just going to try and define my bone structure a little bit more. Yeonjin has some incredible bone structure, so I'm going to try my best to achieve that as like close as I can. I'm not going to achieve that at all. And then in the pictures, as you can see, he has a little bit of a pink blush just above the apples of his cheeks. So I am first going in with a contouring stick. This is a cream contour stick. Again, everything will be listed in the description box below. Everybody contours their nose a little bit differently. I think that is reflective of the fact that like not everybody has the same shaped nose. So this is just how I contour my nose. Again, I'm not saying that you need to contour your nose in this way as well. This is just how I do it. So I am putting more like of that contour color on the places that I want to define my nose a little bit more and then I'm putting a highlight color on the bridge of my nose and on the sides of my nose to really just like emphasize the contour that I put on before. I definitely don't always contour my nose right and I definitely don't always manage to do it like the exact same way. Um, it's just sort of like a trial and error thing so if you see anything error wrong with this then um, just ignore that. Anyway now I'm putting some highlighter on the bridge of my nose I'm going to do a little bit of reverse contouring for my cheekbones and just putting a lighter color foundation underneath my cheekbones to just sort of like make my cheekbones stand out a little bit more. I just put on a little bit of powder there and then now I'm putting on a light pink blush just above the apples of my cheeks, sort of like underneath my eye bag area. And yeah. Okay, so for Yeonjin's lips, first of all, I just have to say he has such pretty lips, like not in a weird way, but like they're so pretty. So you can see in the concept photos, they've gone for either like a light pink or like a my lips but better kind of color. I've personally gone in this look for a light pink color, but I think if I was going to do this again, I'd go for a little bit more of a defined pink color for my lips. So I put on a red on the inner parts of my lips and now I'm just going over it with a rose colored lipstick. I'm just gently patting that on, blending that out first and then I'm going to go over it again. Um, and yeah, you can see here I'm like smudging it out, but I think next time I would have just gone for a little bit of a darker color. I would have emphasized the lips a little bit more just because he has really pretty lips. The part you've all been waiting for, it's the gems. So I'm taking more inspiration from the sticker photo and I'm applying a little bit less gems than there are in the concept photos that I'm drawing inspiration from. You can see in this look that I did for V, I have the same amount of gems on that V does, but because my face is a lot smaller, my face looks like it's drowning a little bit. So I just basically don't want to do that again. And I want to make sure that the amount of gems that I have on my face actually fits my face. I think that's really important when you're drawing inspiration from other concept photos, other people is like, you got to bear in mind that their face and their eye shape and everything blah 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 is going to be different from yours. I've said that so many times throughout this whole video. Sorry, I keep saying it. Anyway, here's me styling my hair, um, trying to figure out like how to, you know, do it. And I'm just placing the gems on paying attention to where they are. They're sort of formed in this like triangle, upside down triangle shape. Um, almost a bit like tears, so I'm trying to emulate that as best as I can and just sort of playing around with it again making sure that they're not drowning my face and making sure that they are more flattering to the size of my face and to the location on my face. Here's the makeup. Um, again, I'm not a makeup expert at all, but I'm just like a makeup enthusiast. I just really, really like makeup. So I just thought that this would be quite a fun video to do. And I hope you enjoyed. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the process. I hope you've like picked up some fun tips. I hope that if you, um, sorry, I'm like trying to like figure out how I want to do my hair. 
if you have any other video ideas that you want to see let me know um if you guys are interested in k-pop stuff like you can follow my tiktok that's like all k-pop except for like one or two videos where i like have breakdowns I hope you've enjoyed this video i hope you have enjoyed watching me god i'm such a narcissist aren't i thank you very much for watching remember to like and subscribe and i will see you next time bye bye guys hi ladies